a member, I'd like you to let me know that you're a member. If you're a member in the chat segment, just record, oh, I'm a member. Again, this meeting will be very short. Some people will come into this class, and by the time they come in, we have already concluded this meeting. Yesterday was a very dramatic day for um, the internet because Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp was shut down for a few hours all over the world. It was a global shutdown. And people's businesses that relied on social media marketing was greatly affected. As a matter of fact, the value, I hear that Facebook lost billions of dollars in estimate. Okay, somebody saying she's a member. Okay, Aubasa, okay. Ngozi says she's already a member. Fantastic, great. If you're a member, I'd like you to indicate that you're a member. Uh, if you're not a member, I also want you to indicate that you are not a member. All right, so, but, you know, by today, Facebook is back and up and running, and some people are excited that it's back. But like I said yesterday, for those of you who found your way to come in here, we were able to post the link on Instagram and some, sorry, on Telegram, and people showed up because of that. We had like 15 persons who came in. Uh, we must not depend totally on social media. We must have uh, we must do digital marketing as a whole. You know, be very good with YouTube, understand the TikTok, understand um, the Telegram, understand email marketing, and every other platform. So yesterday, like I said, this meeting will be very brief and short. We started talking about the Cobra effect. Let me know if you are a member of the e-cooperative. If you are, not a member. I also like you to indicate I'm not a member yet of eCooperative.Africa. If you are a member, I'd like you to also indicate that you're a member. Let me know in the chat segment that you're a member or not a member. Okay, so let me show you a few things. Um, briefly, some new development in eCooperative. A very, very powerful development in eCooperative. Some great developments some interesting in development in e-cooperative. You want to know about it, I'm sure. All right, so I'll share my screen and I will just show you the latest development we have in e-cooperative. Uh, yeah, so we have some great, great... Uh, okay, so this is the website, for those of you who don't know, Everything you need to know about the website is here. Okay, sorry. Everything you need to know about the website is here. Who we are, who the organization is, people that are behind it, our services. If you click on our services, you see um, um, e cooperatives is involved in fundraising, investment, savings, e commerce, crowdfunding. They also have what is called the shop. Okay, you can click on this part. And get to the shop. You can click on F frequently asked questions. You can click on login and sign up. You can click on register if you're not a registered member. And you can also ask some questions from support. All right. Uh, e cooperative is involved in fundraising. They're also involved in helping you access learning materials that will improve your business and your life. E cooperative also enables you to save in crypto, save in Naira on your CDs, uh, to buy things online and to invest and most interestingly e-cooperative enables you to buy to sell and to make profit you see shop now if i click on shop now it takes me straight to my e-cooperative uh, the e-cooperative the shop where i can sell things on the platform okay so it's loading like i said i'm in a network area that is not very good so bear with me it's taking some time to load, but I'm sure it's going to come up very soon. Okay, so there you go. You have, um, you can post your adverts as a member. You can, if you have a vehicle, if you have courses, if you have properties you want to sell, health, fashion, services, phones, electronics. Look at trending. These are trending things. Massage, gun, and AS. All right, people are already posting things on the platform. Superior taper clip, all right. 
people already posting things on the platform, build build a business that pays you for the rest of your life. All right, Alio Forex or Ferox, all right? Ankle Superflux, many people are putting their promotions there. Why are you not putting your adverts there? One of the ways to raise funds for your business is to sell, is to sell. So that's pretty much how to, um, you, you want to advertise something, you click on post advert, you click on post advert to take it to this place. You put in your login details. If I just put in my login details, it will show me exactly. Click your login details. It will take you straight here and I'll click on post adverts again. And then I can put my product image. I can um, choose my category. I can put my product name. I can select a location. What location I'm in Nigeria. But I can put the price. I can put the description and I can sell. If you're not coming in, please mute your sound. If you're just coming in, please try and mute your sound. Um, to your mute your sound. To your mute your sound, please. To your mute your sound. All right, fantastic. So the other things you can do. That's one way you can you can go directly to. Um. You can go directly to ecopy.shop and get registered re and you'll sign into your uh, ecopy to the shop. You can go directly there. All right. So I'm going to go show you another way you can access the platform. Let me share my screen again. So you, let me share my screen again to you. See how you go about it. This is my screen here. Okay. All right, if you just join us, please mute your sound. Thank you. You click on login. I think you click on login here. It will take you to this place. If you're just coming in, mute your sound, please. Mute your sound. Then you let me pick somebody's that I have here. You click on login. And when you do that, it takes you to your dashboard. This is one of my persons here. <clears throat> All right. No. Okay. So, please, if you're just coming in, mute your sound. Somebody's sound is getting into the system. Mute your sound, please. Thank you. All right. The, the person whose sound is filtering in, if you come in, check your sound that your sound is not filtering in, else you'll be kicked out. All right, Techno, Povia, let us put you out. And Oyo Yemi, I'm going to have to kick you out since you don't want to be here. Oyo Yemi should be kicked out too. I'm host, speak, Miss. Okay, thank you, sir. All right. So here we are, we were here. So this person has made only 4,000, I think the person has gotten two signups. And then the dashboard has um, upgrade payment metrics, um, learning materials, you can download Bitnop app. If you click on download here, it will take you to where you can download it. We already have it on my system. I don't want to go into it now, okay? And then you can click on e copy to the shop, shop and to take you again to the platform. You can take you take you again to the platform. All right. Or you can click on host adverts and to directly shake you straight here. You don't have to log in again. You don't have to log in a second time in e copy to the shop. Once you go to your dashboard and you click on e copy to the shop, it will take you to this platform where you can put in the picture. All right. Put your set your category. Put the product name, 
we have these categories for now health properties courses fashion services vehicles mobile phones electronics and then put your product in price description and you're good to go all right let me um share what i want to share with you today because it's very important that we um learn a few things that will help yesterday we said talking about the cobra effect the cobra like i said today, very brief and be as brief as possible in less in a few minutes we will be done so for those of us who didn't come yesterday this is the cobra effect now of course you know the cobra is a snake very dangerous it's a cannibal and it eats animals and in 1911 something happened the people of india delhi delhi is the capital the capital in india um the place was infested with a lot of cobras everywhere and the british colonial masters of india at that time were astonished by the number of cobras in that city in the city the main city people are walking on the streets i mean it's really british um, immigrants who came in to live they walk on the streets in their houses they see cobras everywhere and, you know cobras are very dangerous so they became concerned about it without thorough thoughts without quality thinking they made a decision and the decision was to offer a bounty offer some money to anyone who would be able to kill a cobra and bring to them. So the colonial master said, if you kill a cobra, bring to us, we'll give you some money. And so they started doing it. So people said killing cobras. People in the city of the said killing cobras and bringing to them. And they were getting money, so they're paying, paying, paying. All of a sudden, some guys, you know, came up with an idea. So, okay, let us start breeding cobras. We'll breed cobras, create cobra farms, cobra snake farms, and then breed them, kill them, and make money. So they said a business began to tribe in the outskirts of Delhi and even in India, they were breeding several cobra farms in that city and bringing to the British people so they can pay, get money. Eventually, the British people discovered these things. They discovered the huge cobra farms and said, okay, we're not giving you people money anymore. All right. So even though the problem seemed to be solved temporarily, because the British pay money, these people who had cobra farms say, well, we're not making money. Why are we keeping the cobra farms? So they unleashed all the cobras into the city, all the cobras in the city. And the city became 10 times, had 10 times more cobras eventually. So because the British colonial master did not give it thorough thought, quality thoughts, they didn't give enough thinking to it. And all they did was incentivize people quickly and get that quick solution without thinking through about the fact that some people will start a business out of it, the problem more terrible. I'll give you another story. In 1902, 1902, the French colonial masters were worried about rats in Hanoi. Hanoi is the capital of Vietnam. Vietnam is a country, and most of you don't know where is a country. It's somewhere in Asia, like Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia. So they said, oh, too many rats in the city. Top rat. So, guys, without giving it quality thoughts and thinking, they made a decision. And the decision was that we want people to start killing rats. If you kill rats and cut the tail, kill the rat, bring the tail as proof that you killed rats, we will give you money. And they started doing people started killing rats initially. It seemed as if it had stopped. All right. But one thing that the French colonial masters discovered in Hanoi was that they started seeing plenty of rats without a tail. People had not, they had not really killed the rat. They would just cut it, tell the rat, you know, lure a rat, cut it, till, put it back into this the sewage, uh, yeah, yeah, the city sewage that they can reproduce and so on. And so the rats became much more. So what this, this process, I mean, has been called the cobra effect, the signs of unintended consequences. So you wanted something good a good outcome to come out of the decision you are making and you did not think true pay attention you didn't think true the result that you thought was good was good temporarily but eventually it became worse and bad 
And so what I'm going to say here is this lesson. This is something that we've taught so many times. In fact, if you go to if you're in a, an economic student, in a political student, they talk about the cobra effects. Most leaders, most organizations keep asking the question, the cobra effect. Now it may solve the problem now, but will it ultimately solve the problem? Are we thinking holistically? Are we thorough in our thinking? Are we just myopic in our thinking? Like I said yesterday, life is like a chessboard. And I don't know if you play chessboard. If you play chessboard, write in the comment section, I play chessboard. Chess is a very interesting game. Let your children play chess. I learned how to play chess much younger when I was 21. And it's a very exciting game. Before you, you make moves in order to succeed. Your goal is to defeat the other person. And you have to think four or five moves. Any move you make has consequences. Any move you hit not just doesn't have, does have one consequence. It has two, three, four consequences. So life is like that. Like a chessboard. You got to think four moves, five moves, six moves, seven moves before you make your first move. That's holistic thinking. Because if you make your first move that seems to get you initial results, but you don't think about three, four, five other moves, the repercussion will be worse than making that first move and getting that initial benefit. So this is what I wanted to write down in your notes, and I talked about it yesterday. The quality of your decision is dependent on the quality of your thinking. Any decision you want to make in life, don't make it without thinking, without quality thinking. Because the decision of your life determines your destiny. Even your indecision is a decision. Your choices have consequences. And so you've got to be careful about decisions you make. Before you make any decision, decision to start a cooperative, decision to start that business, you must first ask yourself the question, have I given thorough thought to it? And so before we look at outcomes and great results, before we start talking about success, we will start with thinking. All success begins with quality thinking. All success begins with quality thinking. So let's look at a few things that we looked at yesterday. Yesterday we talked about that our outcomes, we said decisions determine our destiny, not even the conditions of our life. So there are different kinds of thinking. If you're going to succeed in any business, you're going to succeed in any corporate, if you're going to build a mega business, live a quality life, you're going to have uh, enjoyment in the long term, not in the short term. You're going to get lasting results, be the lasting legacy, enjoy enriching success. You must understand the different kinds of thinking. The first kind was linear thinking. Now, linear thinking is a straight kind of thinking. It's a limiting thinking. And I'll discuss limiting thinking subsequently, but it's just you thinking straight because X equals Y, therefore Y equals Z. Definition, textbook definition. Linear thinkers use information they have learned from one situation to apply in another situation in order to solve a problem. So we're here. Life doesn't work like that. Because A, B, and C did this to get this result. Therefore, if I do the same thing, I'll get this. Yes, that times you work about it. It's not all the time because there are many things that could happen. Nepal can take lights. There could be war in your country. Naira can go high. Dollar can go down. So there are many probabilities. So to just think linearly is not to be wise. It's to allow the cobra effect to happen to you. Just think short term. Think, okay, if I get this result, if I do this, I'll get this other result. And maybe you get that result initially, but there are other things that could happen in the future that will make your life worse off than it began. So linear thinkers use consistency, rules, formulas, and patterns to make decisions like not bad, but not good enough. The next kind of thinking is called, we discussed yesterday, was non-linear thinking. And this is a little more complex. This one says that non-linear thinking is a human thinking that has the characteristic of expansion in various directions rather than in a single direction and based on the idea that there are diverse starting positions person can apply logic to a situation. So you don't just say, you don't just think of all the options. If I make this move, what will happen? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, you're thinking all the directions. That is what nonlinear thinking is. I want you to start moving from there. A lot of us think linearly. I want to start thinking nonlinear. Let's look at some other Definition. We discussed all of this yesterday. You can get the videos. Thinking. You're joining the cooperative. The first thing that should be, the first thing that should be at the back of mind is, 
What's my outcome? What do I want to achieve? What exactly do I want to achieve? Because see, your motivation is as a result of your vision. Vision, there's no strong motivation. When there is no passion, check, the vision is blocked. So vision that is inspire motivation will inspire passion. So people move because they see clearly. When there is no pre progress, trace, there is blurness, there is vagueness, there's no exactness, there's no outcome thinking. The person involved in the process does not know along the way. When people give up along the way, it's because they have not seen the end. They don't have an outcome. There's a story of a woman called Florence Chadwick. Florence Chadwick wanted to swim a long distance. I think the English Channel River, long distance. And she was supposed to do, but the day she was, and it was like a, like a world record. The day she was supposed to go to that company early in the morning to swim, there were a lot of boats by her side to, to encourage her. So as she put her leg into the water, it was cold, freezing cold that morning. I said, hey, this is thing is cold though. And the next thing she noticed was that the fog, you know, like Amatan in Nigeria, was so much. So she could not see the end. She began to swim, swim. She was a very powerful swimmer. She had done some amazing feats prior to that time. She began to swim, swim, swim along the line. She just kept seeing blur, fog. She didn't see the end. She didn't see the end. She kept trying. So... I mean, the boats that were by her side were just hailing her. Come on, Chad, Florence, go ahead. You can do it. You can do it. She kept swimming, swimming. They, in fact, they had their guns in case any shark wants to come, they'll shoot and drive away the shark. But at some point, she gave up. She gave up a few miles towards the end. And then when they brought her out, they asked her, Madam, you are a good swimmer. You have done something like this before. You know, why couldn't you achieve it? He said, I couldn't see the end. It was too cloudy. I couldn't see it. If I had seen the end, I would have done it. In fact, a week later, she came back. The, cl the clouds were clear. She swam and she finished the whole process at a certain record, record time. So when you don't have a clear vision of where you're going to, you will stop along the way. When you don't know exactly what you want in life, you're going to stop in life. So you need outcome thinking, think in terms of outcome. Before you start any process, before you start any business, before you join any business, think what is the end? What's my exit strategy? What do I want to earn? What do I want to earn from this business? What do I want to get from me cooperative? Is it, do I want to sell in the e-shop? Do I want to do the crypto and save in USDT or do the Bitcoin and make money from it? What do I want to achieve? You have to start with the end in mind. We discussed that yesterday. Now, this is, another, this is another kind of thinking that it is a negative, it is a thinking that, in fact, is not even good at all. It's a bad thing. You call it pessimistic or negative thinking. That's when you convert bloom to gloom. When you always see gloom in everything, when you're a fault finder, when an opportunity comes your way, you pass it over repeatedly. You always see pessimistic person, always thinking of the worst, thinking of the worst, thinking of the worst. Ah, that's the negative thinking. Some people call it stinking thinking. Okay, you've got to stop it. Stop thinking negatively because you're attracting certain things in your life because of your thinking. You are a living magnet. You are attracting circumstances and people and events and opportunities that correlate, that correspond with your thoughts. You've got to be careful. You have to guard your mind because you're a living magnet and you're attracting things. Stinking thinking drives away opportunities drives away good things. If you don't think that you would have great money, you'll make four million, five million, you'll count millions before the end of the year, you will not have it. If you think that you think you're worse off, you get into debt, you get broke, you won't have a great Christmas, you won't have a great Yuletide season, things will get bad. So thinking, thinking is not a thinking that you should have at all. So another kind of thinking that is as bad as thinking, thinking, we didn't discuss this yesterday, but I'm bringing it that is as bad as thinking thinking is limiting thinking. Limiting thinking is a kind of linear thinking, linear thinking. Limiting thinking is a thinking that binds you just, you are just myopic. You're only thinking your locality. You're refusing to use digital marketing because when you get into the digital space, you can go global. You can be here. One of the things that the internet does for you is that it takes you on, puts you on a global stage. So limiting thinking is a thinking that people have. All right, and it's very limited. I mean, there are stories of people. There was this story, they put some flies into a jar and they kept them 
just gave them little food. They just kept them for a long time. They covered the, the, the amount of the jar for a long time. And after a while, they got they kept trying to go out, try, trying, 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 trying to hit the side, hit, they couldn't do it. At a certain point, after like a few hours, the men, they would get got the flies just got tired and they stayed where they were. They had given up. They now took off the glass lid above the jar. And trust me, those flies did not attempt to leave that space because they just felt that that space had placed a limit on whether they can escape or not. I mean, I'm sure I've heard the story of a certain animal that was tied to a tree, tied to a tree. I think it was an elephant for days. Every time the elephant tried to move his leg, the thing would draw him back and it would pain him every time, every time. Okay. And after a while, after many days of you know staying there, feeding the elephant there, the elephant, one of these they now untied the tree, untied the rope that was on the tree. And the elephant did not leave that space, did not even make any attempt to go beyond that space. So it what had been tied now it was his leg was no more tied, his mind was tied, his mind was limited. Got to be careful about limited thinking. Another form of limited thinking is traditional thinking. Traditional thinking means that you always think this is the way things are always be, can always be done. This is how it was being done by our fathers and our mother. Therefore, this is how network marketing, this is how it must be done. You know, that thinking, the story of a certain man who got married to his wife, young lady. You know this one thing about the wife. Whenever the wife is cooking and is trying to cook fish, she would cut the head of the fish, cut the tail of the fish, and cook the rest, and throw the head, the tail, and the head, and cook the rest in, in the pot. Doesn't matter the size of the pot. You do that every now and then. So the one day the man asked, ah, every time I bring big fish, very big fish, you cut the head, cut the tail, throw it away, and then cut the rest, and then put in the food. Why do you cut the head? Why do you throw the head away? Why do you throw the tail away? So my, my, my dear husband, if my mother, my mother used to do like that every time she's cooking. So luckily for them, the mother was alive. Mother was mother-in-law was alive. So let's go meet your mom. Let's have a conversation with your mom. They went to the mom, and the man said, "Ah, your daughter, my wife, does this every time she's cooking. cut the head, cut the tail, and keep doing. what's the child? What's and he said, you're the one who does it. The mother-in-law said, "Ah, my dear son, thou, ah. mother does the same thing." Luckily for them, the grandmother of this wife was alive. So they decided to go and meet the grandmother. When they got to the grandmother, Madam, ah, to go to place after pleasantries, this thing you're saying, why does why do you they say you also cut the head and the tail of fish and put it? What's the why do you do that? The grandmother said, Man, my dear son, my dear grandchildren. Oh, 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 oh. In those days, you were very, very poor. Things were so bad. Things were so, so, so bad. And we didn't have a money to buy big pots. And when my wife goes to buy big fish, because we don't have a big pot, I will have to cut the head and cut the tail and cook the rest. You see, the mother of that wife did not ask questions. The, the, the grandchild did not also ask questions. They just kept doing what every other person has been doing. That is called limiting thinking. It's a traditional thinking. You've got to be careful about what you're thinking. You've got to free your mind. There's this also experiment about a shark. A shark in a fish tank will grow eight inches, but in the ocean it will grow eight feet or more. To put a shark in a fish tank, like this kind of tank you see there, it will just grow and stop there, it will not go any further. It doesn't matter the amount of supplements you put in, you give it supplements, you give it things, uh, 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 it will not go any further. Until you take that fish and put it into a bigger city or an ocean, or a very, very big tank, it will start growing eight feet in your world, under your very eyes, it will be stretching. Brr, brr. So the environment has limited his growth. So sometimes our thinking, our results, our performance is as a result of our environment. We need to change some locations, change locations. I'm just giving you these ideas. It will help you to achieve more results in your life. All right? All right. So there's also something called positive thinking. Positive thinking is good, at least it's the beginning. What that means is that it's better than limited thinking. 
that, oh, things will get better. It's good. At least you're able to see opportunities when others are not seeing opportunities. You're apt to see opportunities, all right? So I'm discussing thinking patterns and different kinds of thinking because the quality of your thinking determines the decisions you make. And the decisions that you make determines the outcome, the results. Most of the results we have in our lives are not good. They are short-lived, they are short-term. When things get even worse because we didn't have quality thoughts and we didn't make quality decisions. Now, positive thinking is very good, but guess what? Positive thinking is not good enough. Hope is not a strategy for success. If you're truly going to succeed in e competitive, you can't be praying and say, amen, or is well, it will happen. It's not a strategy. You've got to do more than just hoping. You do more than just hoping, and that leads us to other kinds of thinking, and it's possibility thinking, thinking up, and that's what we were saying about um, the cobra effect. The cobra effect comes into effect when you don't think about possibilities, what will happen, what could happen, what if, why not, when, how, who, you know, that's what we're talking about here. Possibility thinking is believing that things are possible, taking away the can't and having more of the can, I can. Instead of I can't, I can. Because I can is the father of I am. We first believe before we become possibilities and not just positive thinking, possible, looking at for option, looking at possibility. And it's a very strong thing. Believing that nothing is impossible. Believing that you can join a cooperative and jump into another is a quality of thinking. Possibility of thinking is what is making this fish with his other contemporaries. You can be doing a cooperative, you can be doing a business together with others, but because you have possibility of thinking, you move from one level to another level. Where well, you're in your class of your own, this possibility thinking. And when you start thinking like that, the kind of revelation, because your thinking determines your re revelation. Your meditation determines the kind of revelation that you have access to. And your revelation determines your elevation. Your meditation determines your revelation. Your revelation determines your elevation. Most people don't have quality lives because they don't have quality thinking. They have lives that is shabby, because they don't think properly. They don't think possibilities. And the final kind of thinking we discussed today is design thinking. Designing your life. Designing your business. It's, I can also call it strategic thinking. Creative thinking. Thinking in terms of outcomes. Starting from the beginning to the end. Like, let me give you the example. Like the corporate effect. Now, those guys who... Before the announcement, said, oh, if you, if you have snake, if you have, you have so many snakes in um, Delhi, you guys, if you bring snakes, we'll give you money. That was poor thinking. That was thinking that by giving people money, you will stop that problem. They didn't think, they were not designed, they didn't design their thoughts. They didn't design their thoughts. So what would they have done? They would have said, okay, guys, let's call all the stakeholders. Let's call the snake charmers. They put the call snake charmers. Let's call snakes. Why do we have snakes in the country? Let the people bring the solutions. What can we do? Is after they have asked from the stakeholders, snake champ, uh, standards, look at the holistic problem. Do we really have a snake infestation? When they have done all of that, they can now say, guys, okay, you know what? What do we do? They will now come up with the solution. And they will now design a template. And so, okay, in that template, they can now add, let us in invent, let's incentivize people, let's give them money. How much are we going to give them? How do we stop it? That kind of thinking would have been better than just taking a quick decision. All right? So design thinking is important. And there's no time. It's a non-linear process. There's no time to, to talk about this. But again, this is something that is a whole topic on its own. But one of these I'm going to teach you, where you empathize, you define, when you want to solve a problem, you first empathize, you define the problem, you ideate, you create a prototype, and then you test. I'll teach you that some other time. So in e-cooperative, what we do basically is that we build a massive business. Let me show you something. Let me show you something that will help you. We build massive businesses. And the people in e-cooperative are taught through the entire, entire business process. All right. So... First of all, 
My outcome is 4.6 million. That's what I want to get. So that's what I want to get. The next thing I want to ask myself is, how long do I want to get this money? Let me be realistic. Let me say 90 days. That's two months from one account. Okay? So you see, I'm very smart now. I have out, I have an outcome thinking 90 days. So now I want to do, I don't want the cobra effect to come. I don't want to start and stop along the way. Okay. So what do I want to do? What else can I do? I want to break these 90 days into 30, 30 days. Milestones for 30, 30 days. How many people I want to speak to in 30 days? All right. So I have 4.6 million, 90 days, broken my stuff into 30 days. I want to go break it down to seven, seven days. I want to break it down to every day. I want to have a prospect list, a prospect list of people who will join my business. You know what the prospect list is? People that can join your business, that can do business with you. And I want to even divide the prospect list to people who are, we have the one prospect list, we have the one prospect list, we have the cold prospect list. One prospect list are people that you already know. Cold prospect list are people that, you don't know. And I've told you before that if you want to get to your cold prospect list, rather than go directly to people that you don't know to start discussing the cooperative, why don't you go through people that you know? Go through um, your, your one prospect list, like your friends, your colleagues, your church members, your pastors, people that you know, that, and ask them for referrals. So when you ask for referrals, you want people, one prospect to lead you to your cold prospect. Does it make sense? So I've gotten that. Now, so that's eleven. That's thinking before I make a decision to join. Now, I also know that in this business, I need four people. Okay. Now, the possibility of getting four quality people will not be if I just get four. I can get four people and get my first eight k, and they stop my destiny because this A, B, C, and D they refuse to work. They have gotten, I've gotten, they refuse to, they refuse to duplicate. It's a problem. So the corporate in fact, has gotten, I'm getting the money now, they have gotten worse because these guys A, B, and C, and D refuse to work. I've given, they've given two, two K. They now start thinking, ah, you see, you just took my two K. I've not been able to get anything. The business is not working. You even start having problems with A, B, and C. You start having problems with them. The problem that was supposed to be a good thing has now become like a bad thing. Cobra effect has come in. They're not even spoiling your name. Now you took money from them and you say, just to kill, just 2009. Oh, Jesus Christ. What did you go and buy inside? Because you didn't think through. So, what would you have done? If you think not just linear, you now think, oh, for me to get four quality people, I will need to talk to at least 100 people, as many people as possible. Okay? So from four, if I talk to 10 people and I get four people, I'm good. From this 10, and in order to talk to 10 people, I will not get people to just give me their money. I'll tell them, come and listen first. So if you don't like the business, don't do it. I don't want, I don't want people to stop my destiny. If you're going to do the business and you're going to grow, this is the way. When they say yes, they form the first quality. Person that signs up, quality one, quality two, quality three, four. So, you can get quality people to join your business when you, you know, do quality thinking. So you have four people here. Now, it's possible that even if these people are quality people, this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. Even if they are quality people that they join your business, your e-competitive business, it is possible that they still don't want to upgrade. This A gets his own four, B gets his own four, C gets his own four, D get his own four. He's put that the A, B, C, and D, they don't get their um, 8K. They say, brother, I'm not in the business again. So what do you do? So that's another thing. It's okay. What if they get their 8K and they don't want to do it again? What happens to my business? They don't want to upgrade. What happens to my business? So you need you have to have more quality thinking. So somebody can now say, all right, let me do like this. For A, eh? They are people that can afford 2K, but they are hungry. They understand the business. They know they need to duplicate. So this man will work with, this A will work with him 2K. He will start with 2K. 
But there are some other people that they want to see, because it's even 2K, they will not even join your business. They prefer it for it to be more. So you can say, let me use the second leg for those that will enter at, 4, at 6K. So B will enter at 6K. For those of you who know my uh, business, this month will give you 2K first, will give you 2K first, has give you 2K, then you give his upline 4K. So you add 2K plus 4K, B will enter at 6K. You can say, okay, let's see, enter at 14K. For those of you who know the business, you know what I'm talking about. You can say, let D enter at 30K. So everybody that will enter at 30, 30K, they will be in this D leg. People that will enter at 14K, that's level three, they'll be in this C leg. People that will enter at 66K, they'll be in this B leg. People that will enter at 22K, those that don't have money, but they are hungry, they are strong, they have drive, they'll be in this A leg. You see now, you're thinking non-linear. You're giving room for possibilities, for options. Does it make sense to you? So that you, you're, you're, you're placing, you're not just putting, gathering any kind of people. You're thinking about the outcome. When, if you enter with 30K into the business, the chances, if everybody enters with 30K in the business, they know that I end the business, first of all, that is a good money because actually the total amount of money you contribute in any company is about 30,000. They will enter, and everybody in that leg enters, they will enter with zeal because they will end their money faster. You will get your money faster. The downline will get their money faster and so on. Or with 14K or with 6K or with 2K. So that is a kind of thinking. That's a strategy. That is a strategy. All right? So you can enter that way, all right? Because you have one, two, three, four, and that is you, yeah. Then you're going to have four people, okay? Sorry, four people. Four people in your business. The first set of people will give you 2,000 so that you get 8K. All right, in fact, in this business, you're supposed to give this man, let's call this one, okay, so you give this one 2K, you give this one 4K, you give this one 8K, you give this one 16K. You total 2K, 4K, 8K, 16K, 16,000 error, that's 30K. In fact, some people enter this business because they have the outcome already. They just upgrade to level four, like 30,000 uh, straight up. And they start building a business. They now say that this man, don't start with, I can give one leg for 2K. I can give another leg for, for 6K. I can give another leg for 14K. I can give another leg for 30K. It's a strategy. I have my outcome. I want to be able to connect with everybody at different levels. It's just a strategy. But the normal way we do it in e-cooperative is that when you give your first 2K to this person, let's call this person Jane, you get four people to give you two 2K. That is, that will be, you get your first 8K. These two people, these four people will bring their own four each and get their own 8K each. When these 16 people want to move to, when the 16 people want to move to level two, your own account details will appear. And when it appears, they will each give you 4K, just like you gave. Okay, when you get your 8K, you move to level two, you give to 4K to this person. Let's call the person Joe. So this 16, when they want to move to level two, just like you gave um, um, Joe 4K, they will give you 4K each, amounting to 64,000 naira. All right? You can take money there and give to um, Kate. You give Kate 8K. The next place you're going to have is six, 16 people are going to bring four people each. That's a total of 64 at your third generation. Because you're giving Kate 8K, when 64 people want to move to level three, they'll see your account details and each of them will give you 8K each amounting to 512,000 Naira. And then the last stage, you're going to take 16K and give to Philip. Philip. And the 64 are going to bring for each amounting to 256 people. When the 256 people want to move to level four, just like you gave 16K to Philip, these 256 people are going to give you 16K each amounting to 4,096,000 Naira. 
thousand naira. It's a simple business. That's the normal way. But as a person who understands quality thinking, quality strategy, you can sit down with this system that e cooperative has bought there and analyze it and come out with a, a quicker plan. So the quality of your thinking, that's my point, my dear friends, because I'm about to wrap up, is dependent on the quality of your thinking. You've got to crack the code to be a wealthy person. If you're going to be rich in this life, you've got to crack the code. Did that make any sense to you? If I made any sense, see, I hear. Did that make any sense? Did that make any sense? If I made any sense, say you made sense. Common essential. Oh, Gracie Samuel, welcome. Hamza, not a member yet, welcome. If you made any sense, say I made sense. All right. So I'm going to use the next five minutes to take some questions from us today about what you feel, what you learned today. Just one or two questions I'll be done. You can either write it in the chat segment, all right, or you can have a conversation with me. Write in the comments thread, write in the chat segment what questions you have, or you can unlock your, your mute or your button and talk to me, I'll answer you. Tomorrow will be another interesting time. I want to challenge us. I want to start showing us things, a lot of things that will help us, not just for, I want to teach you what to do with the e-commerce platform to make crazy money from the e-commerce platform tomorrow. If, if I'm not the one, maybe somebody else will be. If there's another person, I will come again tomorrow and show you what you can do to make crazy money. This Christmas season, this Christmas season, how you can have a sweet Christmas, holidays, New Year, with a lot in your, your account, using the e-cooperative, the shop. How you can make a lot of money just by using, how you can start importing things now and selling them on your platform. And what you can do to promote it so that people will come and see that product and buy from you. And how you can take away delivery issues so that wherever you are, you can still deliver that product. That's what we're gonna be discussing in the coming days. You don't wanna miss it for anything. Then we'll also do Facebook advertising. I'm gonna make sure I teach you guys Facebook advertising this morning. We have 20 days to go. I'll teach you Facebook advertising. I'm not even asking Facebook advertising, Facebook advertising, Facebook advertising. We'll teach it to you, we'll show you paid Facebook advertising and advertising that is not paid. We'll show you. We'll show you Google Ads. We'll show you lots of things that will help you to improve your business. Okay, nobody has said anything to me. Gracie Samuels, Gracie Samuels, if, if you have any question, I'd like to hear it now. Did that make any sense? Gracie Samuel, unmute your sound and talk to me. Okay. Anybody wants to say something? Abel Nathaniel, Dr. Oko, Mr. Livinus, Ubon Akpan, say something to me. So if there's anything, if there's anything I want you to take home today, is that yes? Go ahead. Yes, you need to speak up or we're not hearing you at all. Good evening. Thank you very much, Dr. Ogbon. Thank you very much. Uh, whenever I hear my name from your list, it always makes me uh, happy. <laughs> Good to have you here, sir. Yes, I learned so much today talking about the cover effect and also the strategy. In fact, I wish I got this strategy. I wouldn't have got <laughs> Are you hearing me, sir? I'm hearing you now. Yes, you're louder now. Okay. The strategy of putting uh, people that bring 30,000 in one side, people of 14,000 in one side, and people of, you know, 6,000 in one side. Okay, I wish I had see, that. see what's going to happen in the next one or two weeks. Let me let you know this so that people can so you can you have an opportunity to start all over again. In that one or two okay. weeks, those of you that are on level four, you're going to have opportunity. You're going to use one email, one phone number, and one uh, one email and one phone number to have at least five accounts in the next one or two okay. weeks. Okay. Those are in level three will be able to have I think three or four accounts, three accounts. 
Those that are in level okay. two would have at least two accounts. Only those that are in level one that would have one account. So if you want to have another account as a, another free with the same phone number and same um, email, then you need to go to the next level. So that's what you are working on right now to make sure that you can have access. So that if you made, if you started the first time and you didn't really get it right, you can start again and create a new team with your extra account. For those of you that are on level four, in the next few days, few weeks, that's few days, not so long though, can be tomorrow, can be next. I'll give you guys updates when it happens. You will not, you can use the same account, open again, create the four and do it the way you want to do it. But for now, you can continue to look at your metrics, talk to your people, try to encourage them to do, you know, people don't understand the thing at the same level that you do. And these things take some time. They have received some upgrade money after a few days. So I think for two days, there was no upgrade money for me. I had to just call people, oh, what's happening? So when that is launched, people will be able to make more money on the business. Is that fine? Well done, sir. Yes. All right. Thank you any other question? We see, I see Angela, I see Abel Nathaniel, I see Dr. Oko, I see Faith, I see Gloria. Angela, Grace, Gracie, someone, go ahead and ask a question. Please, sir. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. I would like you to expand shade more on that linear thinking. I just linear thinking. Then. Okay, you 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 are part of the class, right? You're part of what I have said. Yes, uh, and this, today is my first time joining this class. So, are you still, actually, are you the are you the one of e cooperative? Yes, I registered yesterday. Oh, fantastic! Amazing. What you want? What I want you to do is just invite people to come here and learn. Just invite them to okay. come. But we have a video okay. where we show so you. So how do I go about inviting them? How, what What do you say? How did you say? How do I go about it? Can you okay. put me through it? Basically, what will happen is that I, if you're in any WhatsApp group, we place yes. the advert. There's a certain advert we place every day in almost all the WhatsApp groups. You will see the Zoom link, meeting link. In fact, if the if the um, admin of eCorporate cannot put, there's a Zoom link, a permanent Zoom link. Every by nine eight nine p.m. Just come here. We'll be discussing a subject matter. At the end of the day, we'll talk about a cooperative, how you can do this business. It's a fantastic business. It's a sweet business. Thank you business. very much. Yes. I think I got value from what you've thought so far. Okay, so, so linear, I have, linear, thinking, linear thinking Yes, is, I need so much. I just joined today for the first time. Okay, My so sister what, really invited me to this platform oh, fantastic, and asked fantastic. me to be joining you. Okay, fantastic. Your sister in Paris, right? No, my sister is glorious. She's there. Glorious, oh, fantastic. Okay, okay. So yes, yes, the yes, the deal. Um, linear thinking is just thinking straight. Oh, if I, if if A equals B, B will not be equals to C. Okay. You know, just straight thinking, which is look at certain patterns. Um, because that man, because Nigeria beats Argentina, and okay. we Germany beats Nigeria, therefore. Germany, okay, because Nigeria beat Argentina and Germany beat Nigeria, therefore Germany will beat Argentina. You know, it doesn't work like that. That's mm. linear thinking. It doesn't work like that. So linear thinking is thinking straight, looking at patterns. Patterns are good, but patterns have their limits. So as a man who wants to succeed in life, you think about anything that can happen. Don't just think about what if you're going to fly. Like you want to travel. You know, just travel. You tell your brothers, you tell your sisters, you ask questions, you reason things. You know, for example, um, you I, I I have I have plenty of cryptocurrencies, I have cryptocurrencies, I have forex dollars. I never I travel a lot around Nigeria. Okay. I give my God forbid, I don't want nothing will happen to me. I'm trusting God to live for a very long time, a long life. But I make sure that my yeah. wife has everything, access to all my passwords. Okay. Just for your eventuality. Yes, it's just it's just thinking anything. I even make sure that I have I sign checks and keep. I have. Uh, I, just sign, I just sign checks and keep. I do things really? strange like that. My wife does not be doing this. I'm going to just sign just sign checks like four or five checks. I make a signature to account. I give her access to my password of my company account. Nothing will happen to me. Oh. I know. Uh -huh. But I'm this linear. It's just. 
everything. I make you understand everything so that you're not, you're not caught off guard. To, hey, why will my children be taken care of? Why? No, 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 no. All that has been handled. And All that has been handled. Of. You have thought about it to the okay. end. It's outcome thinking. Okay. You know, so that's the way to start thinking. Think far. Now, let me tell you one thing, Ma. If you think, if you think enough, what you have is enough. Sometimes we don't need more money. We just need more thinking. If you think enough, what you have, every time God, God doesn't leave us stranded. God leaves us with a seed. If we think, it's just that we seed is looking very common, very ordinary, very normal. And so we just ignore that seed. I beg, I beg, I beg. But if you look very well, if you look around you very well, you have something you can do to come out of any situation. Every adversity has a seed of equivalent benefit. Every adversity. If you're going to, if life is going to bring breakthrough your way, when breakthrough will come your way, it will not come and say, hey, hey, look at me, oh, I am opportunity. I'm the one that will change your life. I'm your next level. It will come with glorious dresses. It will dance like a glorious masquerade. It will come and tell you which one. It will come as problems. It will come as betrayal. It will come as sack letter. It will come as work. Ah, this thing is too much work. I don't know how to talk to people. Oh, hey, can you work? It will come as sack letter as you're, you're supposed to be an entrepreneur. But because for many years you have been working for somebody, slaving out, they don't suck you one day. Say, hey, my life is finished. But because of that sucking, and you don't look yes. up within you, say, I can do business. And you all of a sudden, it will come sometimes yes, in the death of your husband. So you see some women, before they are depending on the husband, depending on the husband, depending on the husband, thinking that the husband is the Alpha and Omega. Then all of a sudden, God, maybe the husband becomes incapacitated, loses the job becomes terribly sick or even dies, then you don't oh. see the woman coming out stronger. Yes. She was already a no great woman. They come out so strong. Stronger, providing for the family, taking care of their children, sending them to universities. It's been there already. So opportunity does not come. I mean, my life not bring us to that point where it, it forces us to become, to do the thing we're supposed to do. Yeah. No. When opportunity comes your way, it will not come as... That's why any business that is too good to be true is not your opportunity. Okay. Any business, you say, ah, the percentage they're making, I, would, I don't do anything. Right. Just invest the money. And the money is coming out. Ah, every day I'm making this kind of money. It's going. It's short leave. It's short leave. Okay. The cobra effect will eventually happen. What happens is that you start getting your friends to join that business, all of a sudden the thing just crashes. Brah. When it crashes, you you can't even talk to your family members it's again. Great. You can't pick their call again. You now become the enemy, you become the devil. Something that you wanted to use to help people. You may you even made some money initially, but that has gone bad. You didn't think. You didn't think. Anything that is too good to be true is not opportunity. It's not opportunity. Okay. When you see high price, it's Thank not opportunity. You, that's not your breakthrough. Your breakthrough will come. Something looks difficult, but you know that this thing can work. If I can put my time and energy to it, it's long and lasting. So the business is. You say what? I say it's good to be focused. Focus, yes, yes, on business. Yes. yes, focus on the long term businesses. It may look like it's stressful, but I love after a long time, you start benefiting it. It's lasted. That is opportunity. Mm -hmm. I made any sense for anybody here. Yes. You will succeed. Okay. Yes, succeed. Thank you very much. I so appreciate this. God bless you. Welcome. I've gotten so value. Much so much value. And I, I, I really appreciate it. All right. Thank so you, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm going to upgrade you. So I think I think I saw the alert that you sent to me today. So tomorrow is going to be another wonderful time. Thank you guys for joining this meeting. If you have not joined e cooperative at Africa, I tell you it's a strong business. One of our core values is teaching. We teach, 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 teach. Because when you teach, people become rich. You build solid foundation. We don't just sell you on things. We teach. If you come join us, you will build a solid business. You will learn how to teach. You also learn how to sell and make money. Great, great business. If you look for the person that invited you to come to this class, get them to give you a referral link, the referral link, and sign up. If you don't have anybody that gives you a referral link, 
if it came as a result of me, you can go to um, eCorporate.Africa, click on register and sign up there and then reach out to me or reach out to anybody um, that would help you guide you through. It's not, we're not here for a, a, a hundred meters dash. We're here for a long, long time. If you look at the e-cooperative, um, if you look at the e-cooperative, um, if you look at the e-cooperative, let me see if I can show you something. If you look at the website, you will notice something. You will notice something um, striking that they are not just doing the business for the company is not in competition with your with any any network marketing business. Let me show you. Okay. Sorry, one minute. Let me show you something. It will shock you. It will shock you. When I think that e competitive is not competing with your network marketing business, you didn't, you didn't used to believe me. Let me show you. Look at look at here. You have Royal Q. Jim's small drink. This is a new company shop. Says more wear. Uh, Black soup. Reader capsule. This is a network marketing company. Reader capsule. This must be language. Acaline coffee. This must be language. Looks like language. Reader. Stem, multiple stem cells. This must be STC. <laughs> See, this one is a um, company. RQ offline seminar. This must be a company that sells land. Uh -huh. So look at Longreach. The advertising is a toothpaste there. So e-cooperative is not competing with your company. It is a platform for you to benefit. You can advertise your products, your services to members, and you can even share the link on Facebook. Maybe tomorrow. I'll show you how to share links on Facebook and WhatsApp. I thank you guys for coming today. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. What time tomorrow? Same time. Same venue. 9 p.m. Same time. Same venue. Thank you. Glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Doctor. God bless you. You are doing you, a good job. Thank you, thank sir. You. I appreciate this effort. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I had so much value. Thank you. Thank you. Mm.